to see you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, do, we, uh, do we always start the same way? Hey, good to see you. Did you laugh at me? Here's, well, here's what I'm thinking. What are we talking about? <laughs> what was what the show about we, today? People should be able to tell that we're, we've already been <laughs> cutting up before we turn the microphones and the cameras on yeah. because we always laugh right as we start the show off. I mean, I think that, isn't that good? I think it's just good that we always laugh. Yeah. I, sometimes I wonder what people think about our accents because I noticed today that we were ranked in Egypt. You know, like a, a pod, podcast Yeah, yeah, we're rankings. in like the top 300 or something. Yeah. yeah. And I was thinking, hmm, I wonder if they can even understand us well, you know? Maybe they can't. Maybe they think we're a, a, a show about a pod of cats. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, it was just the thing we were talking about okay. before. And it's a, yeah. not a podcast. It's a pod of cats. I guess that's because we had to throw the cat out before we started okay. the show. Okay, okay. It works then. I know. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't work okay, now. Okay, so... This is what happens when we don't have a yeah. plan for what we're going to talk about. Well, I was I was on a roll. Oh, go, go, go. I was thinking about... And then I was thinking, hey, I wonder what, what we're ranked. Because we, we'll be ranked in Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Yeah. Hong Kong or... Um, Singapore. Taiwan. All these different places. And um, I thought, oh, I wonder what we're ranked in... U.S. So I signed. I kind of signed oh, we're, in we're to so see. We're so far down the list. It didn't it, show up. <laughs> there was a message that said, "If you're not ranked on the previous a message you got, it means you're not ranked in the U.S. <laughs> you're not <laughs> well, ranked in your home you're country. You're not doing enough, I guess, to, to be <clears throat> yeah, so. ranked. So, but yeah. Well, I think there's probably more 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 shows that are uh, published in the United States. That, uh, oh, I would think probably so. Probably further down the list. Well, so. I mean, we also but, don't but boost we ours. Do. We don't try to. We don't. It's just natural. We yeah. don't promote it. We don't mm-hmm. advertise. We don't do all those kind of things. So it's yeah. just normal. So. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's and, and I think that it's a topic that is specialized for some people. And when we talk about dreams um, alone, and we've been talking a long time about sort of spreading out to some more spiritual topics. Mm-hmm. But when we talk about dreams alone, uh, it's it's important and it's significant to us and to others. Yeah. But it's not necessarily a topic that everybody is anxious. Anxious? It's anxious. Is I can't it? make fun of anxious, you. Anxious. Anxious to hear about. The X They're not just waiting to sound. hear about dreams, okay. right? Yeah. So, but I mean, I think one of the things that we realize is that we are talking about hearing from our creator. It's not just about dreams. It's yeah. about hearing his, his communication with us. And that's through his picture language. It's not just mm-hmm. dreams. It happens in other things. I get people who send me messages all the time through mm-hmm. the, uh, dream stories website where they want to know if, um, you know, I saw this picture or, uh, I've been waking up every morning at 5.55. What does that mean? Mm-hmm. Or like things symbolism like that. and things yeah, like that. Yeah, symbolism, his yeah. What picture language. You know, yeah. I mean, I think I've mentioned it before on the show, but, you know, the original Hebrew alphabet, alf, alphabet. The ori- look, for Southerners, oh, man, this we're, is we're struggling. <laughs> the original Hebrew <laughs> alphabet was, I'm still doing it. Alphabet. Alphabet was... <laughs> Woo. The original Hebrew alphabet was. I, <laughs> I, I must. This could be an entire show. Of bro- Let me say a, it for a you. A <laughs> <laughs> Let me say it for you. Alphabet. The original, the original Hebrew. <laughs> Go for it. Okay, that thing you were talking about yes. was pictographic. Yes. It was pictures. Yeah. Not letters, so to speak. So I mean, it is. It is symbolism is a big part of who our Creator God is. Uh, and imagery, and that's why, you know, in the Bible that we, you know, we hold dear to our spiritual faith, our faith, mm-hmm. the Old Covenant or the Old Testament, the original books, the Pentateuch, mm-hmm. the first five books, and the the poetry books and the prophecy books and all these different things of what we call the Old Testament mm-hmm. uh, are filled with what we, we term types and shadows. Yeah. They're just metaphors. They're, they're dreams. They're pictures yeah. that are interpreted in the fulfillment of them in the New Testament. Yeah. So it's, it's there. It's in the parables yeah. in the New Testament. Uh, the parables are word pictures. I mean, part of our faith 
we are we are Christians. Mm-hmm. So part of our faith, um, Jesus um, spoke, and when he taught, he taught mostly in parables. So much so that even one of his disciples one time said, "Finally, you're talking plainly to us. You're not talking in a parable. We're beginning to understand what you're saying." You know, yeah. so it was like, okay, you know, he he spoke in a picture. This is how I can a picture. Teach. A picture. A picture. Don't try to make me sound. Like I'm sorry. You said, I just had to do you something say because alphabet. I, so okay, don't. that's true. <laughs> but anyway, you can't say picture. Oh, I did it too. Never mind. Go ahead. Picture. Picture. Don't just go. <laughs> Keep talking. Um. I, hey, today talking about just hearing our Creator differently. I'm gonna shift right. for a minute. Um. Good. What about Twilight? I know we've talked about that a mm-hmm. few times. Um, and sometimes I think, you know, we, we do talk a lot about um, dreams and try to venture into some other topics because sometimes we wonder, I mean, how much more could we teach on dreams? And honestly, they're kind of endless. We've tried a lot of variety of different things, having people in, share your dreams with us. And we, we do a lot of different things on here. I don't think we will ever be this cut and dry exactly. This is how our program is formatted and our podcast is always going to look like this you know we actually do a lot of different things Uh, and I know we've been talking over the last few podcasts how we've considered even changing the name of the podcast from what is it called dream stories dream stories that's our current name did yeah. you get a suggestion for a new name? Yeah, I mean, Senior. I had thought maybe something we Something that broadens us out. We still want to talk about dreams. You don't yes, want to stop that. Yes, but here's what I was thinking. Could it be something? Honestly, the only reason we haven't shifted is because we don't have a name for it yet. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming really in is. limbo, aren't we? Yep. But I was thinking today, what about something like, um, uh, like I don't know, creative communication. Um, I don't know. Having the title like creative or from our creator right messages from our creator and underneath you say drink through dreams visions visitation strange events. strange events I, I don't know this could be good well, well i mean i think what you're talking about creator though, is, talks or yeah creator like talks creator yes. communication mm-hmm. well yes i don't know <laughs> Okay. I don't know. Joshua cooked for us tonight. Maybe there was something. <laughs> there was ginger in the food. So yeah, I don't know. Something maybe I, I mean, even there, I was having trouble because I, you said there's a lot of ginger in the food, and I thought we should have more Marianne. So. Oh, you are so corny. I love you. I'm a dad. You are it's corny. It's my dad joke life. Oh, my. Mm. But... You could do a podcast a joke, on so. corny jokes. You drive. I could. Down. I could. We we need to get serious though and talk okay. about some things. Are people going to tune the podcast out? Okay. And Go. that's my fault. Go. I, I didn't say <laughs> me. I said okay. I'll just let, let me jump into something. I had somebody ask a question this week about dreams. Okay. And I thought it was cool because sometimes people don't ask about full dreams. They ask about symbols in dreams, and I never know when they do that. Sometimes is it is that something they dreamed about or is it something they're experiencing and wanting to know what Mm -hmm. it might mean or things like that so i think this was a dream but just to give you an idea of how we we kind of get into this mode where so many things can be representative of something can be a picture of something somebody sent me a message and said what would contact lenses mean and I what about that. contact lenses and you're going to the eye doctor to get checked out mm-hmm. because you're having headaches. And I'm thinking to myself initially, I mean, I just answered what it meant because it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter if it was in a dream or if you had co- wore contact lenses and you were having headaches and having to go to the doctor to get your vision checked out in real life. Mm-hmm. The metaphor is interpreted in a similar way. Mm-hmm. So that's what we talk mean when we talk about the difference between uh, a dream uh, being a picture language of God communicating with mm-hmm. us, but other things are still his picture language. Because if he drew your attention to it in reality, mm-hmm. it's still a picture or a metaphor, just like the types and shadows of the Old Testament, the uh, parables of the New Testament, mm-hmm. whatnot. So I guess I should say what it means in case there are people 
Go ahead. Who are interested. So yes. contact lenses have to do with correcting your vision or getting you focused, giving you focus. You put, And this is how you really deal with metaphors anyway, which is, and we've talked about this before, but it, whether it's real life or a dream, you're still just looking for what are the traits, the attributes, the qualities, uh, the the nature of the symbol because it definitely sets the stage for whatever else you how you th- how you bring the interpretation about because I was sitting here thinking okay contact lenses to me I would I could say to someone um, y- you're getting into contact with your gifting which is your, your ability, ability to, to see, see. Mm-hmm. it really doesn't change the meaning no all, it doesn't does because it? it's bringing your focus right. on something into alignment making your focus right or getting in top contact with your ability to see your gift your calling mm-hmm. your anointing they're very similar and a lot of times i mean there can be different meanings there could be things mm-hmm. that are completely different mm-hmm. like uh something that's hidden but helpful you don't always know when a person's wearing mm-hmm. contact lenses but you can see their glasses mm-hmm. when they're on their face so it could be something that's hidden but helpful that might take things in a little bit different direction yeah. But part of it is just, you know, we talk about this looking at the character, quality, nature, you know, attributes type thing. But part of it is just asking your creator to help you understand what applies mm-hmm. in the moment. And that works whether we're talking about a dream or we're talking about an event or we're talking about a billboard or we're talking about a car tag or we're talking about the numbers on a clock. You're asking your creator God to help you recognize and uh, focus it and apply it. So if you're having headaches and having to go to the mm-hmm. eye doctor, then you're talking about something that's hindering your ability to see. Right. And you need correction. It needs to be corrected in order to remove the mm-hmm. discomfort, the trial, the test, the pain. Right. Your vision's being tested. Yeah. And, and things. And so, and, and there, again, there could be other meanings. But you work really on the concept of an affirmation in your your spirit, an right. affirmation in your heart right. of what feels right, discerning, as Christians would call it, discerning what feels right yeah. about that dream yeah. or, or that experience. That's cool. That's cool. And I don't have to know in those cases, was this a person actually needed to go to the eye doctor mm-hmm. Or was this a person who dreamed they needed to go to the eye doctor? It, re- it really didn't matter. It though, really did doesn't it? matter. Yeah. Right. I mean, not to say that something won't change the context or the meaning or add to it. Definitely adds a, a depth or a flavor to it for sure. So, But I was, you know, earlier I had mentioned to you, I said, oh, I'm going to shift gears and we'll talk about You did. Yes. Uh, I was thinking about, okay, so I took a quick nap today. I mean, like you and I got up and had went to a prayer meeting like at 5 in the morning this morning. Well, it started morning. at 6. We just had to get up early because I was speaking. And yes. I had to be there early, and so, so um, I I was, you know, sitting down. I was doing some study, and then I kind of I dozed for a second. But it was in that twilight time where you're kind of falling asleep, but you're not quite asleep. And um, and I heard this, this phrase, this sentence. So when you're in that place, twilight, and you hear this phrase or this sentence, um, I, I, it made me, it kind of made me sad when I woke up, but I think it was because I was trying to interpret it, what it could mean. But what do you do with those things when you're hearing them in twilight? I mean, is that something that can, that can come out of our flesh as well, <coughs> out of fear or, you know, how, I mean, I've always felt like it was kind of God speaking to me when I heard something in the twilight mm-hmm. and I'm like, okay, what was that? That was so strange and it was very clear. Well, let me say something about it first, and then okay. <clears throat> we can talk about <clears throat> excuse me, what was actually said, but what you were hearing. But but that's the kind of situation, again, where we're talking about, is it a dream or is it not a dream? If you're looking at a car tag and you're seeing it with your eyes, it's not a dream. Mm-hmm. If you're asleep mm-hmm. and it's that mental picture or picture that passes through your spirit that you remember when you wake up, mm-hmm. it is a dream. Not always, because remember we define dreams as what needs interpretation, not as it being at night. Mm -hmm. But we've got more confidence in it being a dream, Mm -hmm. particularly by our traditional definition of it, when we're asleep at night. But what about that period in between? I'm not awake and alert and looking at it. Mm -hmm. I am not asleep and traditionally dreaming. Definitely. That's where we have to remember our definition of a dream for interpreting processes, right. not by 
by the definition of a traditional mm-hmm. thing of the mental pictures that occur while I'm asleep. But our interpreting definition is any picture, sound, mm-hmm. image, metaphor. Right. Because a metaphor is not always a picture. We talk about it like picture mm-hmm. language, but, but it could be a smell, it could be a sound, mm-hmm. it could be a, a, a feel, you know, a feel, a t- um, mm-hmm. uh, you know, um, mm-hmm. a tactile mm-hmm. uh, feeling. <clears throat> Uh, it, a, a dream is any metaphor, metaphorical process or, or a component mm-hmm. that we feel is significant and needs interpretation. It's not literal. It's not direct. And it's not clear. So when you're in the twilight time, you're dealing with the issue of is this a symbol in a dream or is this not a symbol at all? Mm-hmm. Is it literal? Is it re- you know, actually right. happening? And I think those times it gets really tough to t- determine the difference between them. Mm. So are you actually experiencing hearing, for example, God speaking to you? Right. Or is this metaphorical and needy interpretation? And a lot of times you can't determine that until you look at what was yeah. said or what yeah. was experienced and really ask the Spirit of God for clarification on it. Yeah. So what happened? Well, <clears throat> I'm like, okay, do I need to say this? Cause I, I mean, my, if you don't need to say it, it's okay. I just, it's not bad. I you mean, didn't tell me so. No, I didn't. I, I, that's why I was <clears throat> kind of like, okay, well, well, I don't have to say exactly what Michael was said. Michael tells corny jokes. <laughs> well, I don't need an angel or a god <laughs> to tell me that. But anyway. That's true. Okay. All right, go ahead. I, I love you, and I love your jokes. Thank you. You don't love my jokes, no, but I you don't. do love me. I do. Um, so, uh, I I, I, it was like Twilight, like I said. So, <laughs> I... You know how when you kind of just bob off like that, it was like that. And in that split second, I heard, um, this name will not be heard. That sentence. This name will not be heard. What name? Well, at first I thought it was talking about, like, me. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't sure. I woke up not knowing, kind of. You know, I was like, oh, was it my name that's not going to be heard? What is not going to be heard? I'm okay with my name not being heard. That can be a place of humility, you know? Like uh, my name does not have to be known, you know. So I was like, "Gosh, it, but why would that sentence? It was pretty strong, you know." I was like, "Heard it, you know." I was like, "Okay, okay." Well, and this name will not be heard. It didn't mean I, I wasn't sensing that you wouldn't be able to speak and no one would hear you. It's not what I was sensing. It was it was, it was strange. That's just all I know. This name will not be heard. Well, when we look at that, and when we think about something like that... Because that's negative to me, you know, in my mind. Well, but, but is it? Is it? Because <clears throat> now you look at that and you have to say, okay, this doesn't make natural sense. There's nothing there that seems like it's actually literally speaking of something. Mm-hmm. And that's your first clue to say, let's start looking at it as a metaphor. Right. <clears throat> so if you're hearing it or a partial metaphor... That's the thing I think that happens in twilight or when we hear things Mm -hmm. or we feel like God may be speaking to us in some way. We forget that the metaphorical side of hearing our creator can be full, Mm -hmm. dream, non-existing, literal, Mm -hmm. a vision, for example, or the audible voice of God giving us instructions. But it can also be a mixture. It can be in between. We see that in Daniel in... uh, he deals with dreams uh, that are mixed with visions and visions that are mixed with dreams mm-hmm. and some things that are literal and foretelling and other things that are all metaphorical and have to be interpreted. And we see him dealing with those kind of things. So when we do, something doesn't make sense initially, then we back up and say, is it metaphorical or is it partially metaphorical? Mm-hmm. Same thing would work with seeing a billboard that says, you know, something like... Um, I'll start now. You know, mm-hmm. what does that mean? That's a literal statement. Right. But what needs to start? So you have enough metaphor there, you have to figure it out. So one of the things you would do in that kind of situation, this name will not be heard, is look at what were the events of the day? What were the things that you experienced after mm-hmm. that or something that stood out to you? Mm-hmm. And did it did it relate to in situations like this? God's presence, his name, his representation, because you assume that's him speaking, is not going to be heard. There's a there's a closed offedness. Mm-hmm. Is that a word? I liked it. Go okay. ahead. Okay, closed offedness <laughs> okay. to hearing, to him being heard, to his presence being made known in those situations. And I think about 
we talked today about a lot of stress in our nation right now. We had a lot of conversations today about the stress our nation is under, under and the division that we see in um, issues over being masked or not mm-hmm. being masked or being vaccinated or not being vaccinated. And we just this weekend mm-hmm. heard a great uh, message brought by a friend of ours that spoke to, you know, God loves the Republican, God loves the Democrat, God loves President Biden, God loved pres- or loves President, former President Trump. God loves people who wear masks. God loves people who don't wear masks. God loves people who are vaccinated. God loves people who aren't vaccinated. So I think one of the things, because of those circumstances swirling around you Mm -hmm. over the course of the last couple of days, Mm -hmm. that you might think in the ways of looking at that is God is wanting to inject himself into life around us Mm -hmm. and bring peace to all the division and frustration that's mm-hmm. out there but instead we're paying more attention to opinions and social media mm. than we are to god's name being made known in the mm-hmm. midst of the circumstances His name is not being heard we're focused on a soulish perspective of how to deal with everything yeah. now i'm not saying that is the answer no 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 but what uh, i'm saying is that that's mm-hmm. the process i would start walking through and sometimes we learn things in the process right. that aren't always the full answer of what does it mean and i i would say like when i bobbed my head i was like whoa i mean that was a, a clear and concise sentence mm-hmm. you know um and i may not have the verbiage exactly right you know mm-hmm. um it could, have, it could have been your name will not be heard, this name will not be heard, uh, you know, a name not heard. I don't know. Either way, and I, I can't say that it was definitely my loving father. It didn't feel that way. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I, But, I mean, God doesn't always <laughs> tell us things that we want to hear, does he? No, he doesn't. And, and so I, what it does for me is I don't feel like it was fully unfolded. Right, right? and I don't think we've got it fully unfolded just talking about it right no, now. No, I agree. And I, um, if, you know, I'm like, okay. I'm like, no, I want my name to be heard, but maybe I don't. I mean, that could not be a place of humility. So I'm like, okay, I don't even need to wrestle about this because I don't feel like it was fully unfolded to me. But I felt like... Why did it come at that time? It didn't have to come at that time, but did it come to bring something for me to uh, feel bad about myself about or, you know, and I thought, okay, it makes me want to seek my creator It does. It draws you forward. It's like, okay, now I heard that sentence. If it's important, it came at that time. If it's important, whether it came from what I would consider the the enemy or the dark side, or you know, not from light, from my creative, not then, you know, I can say, okay, that's yeah. not what God wants for me. So either help me correct where I need to go. So what I have to, it didn't say what you have to say will not be heard. But think about this. That's the metaphor part. Your name will not be heard can speak to your name, the qualities you represent, Mm -hmm. the qualities that whoever's name it is Mm -hmm. we're talking about represent. That's one of the things I was talking about with my possible understanding Mm -hmm. of it or the explore. See, one of the things I like for people to get is we explore. Yeah. We don't immediately always just say a lot of times people hear us give an immediate, here's the interpretation. Right. But there are also those times when we explore, we walk through and what this, what feels right, what hits our spirit as we're working our Mm -hmm. way through hearing Mm -hmm. and understanding. So it could be your name, your character, your quality. That's what a name reflects. Mm -hmm. It could be your name is not heard in relationship to a voice. You're, you're not known. You're not, you have no name. There's no, nothing. Your voice is not, and it, or it could be mm-hmm. you don't have a reputation. Mm-hmm. Your name is not out there for people right. to pay attention to. Right, right, So right. there's several possibilities that, yeah. that you deal with, That's and good. each of those bring on different little mm-hmm. pieces and nuances. And then you raise the point, again, whether it's in a dream at mm-hmm. night or not, with a metaphor, you have to, whatever the metaphor is, you have to ask yourself, why was my attention drawn to it? Right. Who was speaking? Yeah. Was it my creator God yeah. or was it my adversary, the, right. the demonic world speaking? Mm-hmm. So all those things go into play no matter what the metaphor is or where mm-hmm. it's coming from. Like I said, the car tag, the numbers on the, the uh, clock, we get asked those questions an mm-hmm. awful lot. 
uh, those two in particular. I see. Mm-hmm. I saw a car tag, or I saw a, a slogan on a car, or, or a billboard, or the I wake up at this time, or whether it's something you hear. Something that goes. Twilight makes things more difficult because you're really working back and forth mm-hmm. between awake and asleep, spirit and natural, and things like that. Uh, or whether it's a dream. The principles mm-hmm. are the same. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Thank you, Michael French. I don't feel like I answered you anything. You didn't, but I raised more good. questions. No, about it. I don't think so. I think what you did is, you said you don't have to have an answer. Well, we want and that, an answer. That brings me comfort. You don't mm-hmm. have to have an answer right now, right. immediately. Right. Is what I mean, right? That's so, and I'm okay with that because I, I wanted to know if you saw anything else on it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And mm-hmm. yes, as in I hear you. Not mm-hmm. yes, as in I saw yes, something. Yes, I, I, I got you. Okay. I got you. Yeah. Good. All right. Well, we're really kind of close to out of time. I think if we jump into something else, we'll just yeah. rush over the cliff of time. Well, right. Well, maybe taken. it'll help people see that we don't have all the answers. And we, you know, we've been doing this for 20 years and we still don't know everything. We don't That's experience true. everything and, and have the answers for everything. So. And, and just by the way, uh, because Lisa doesn't believe it's really important for her to be on all these podcasts, she says that she's not really needed. Oh, not not needed. That's probably not the right. I'm 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 not trying to say this in a negative way. I'm really no, speaking to you. I, I that can't. you don't feel like you are uh, uh, that you have to be on here because people don't have to see you or hear you. No, she's been gone two weeks. You've been gone for two weeks, and you watch. Okay. I, I'm telling you, you watch, and people are going to comment about how how they, how glad they are to hear from you, and that you, how glad they are you're back and, because okay. you're here. Again. <laughs> I, I don't say that I don't I don't know what all you just said, but it made it sound like I I don't think I feel that way. Exactly. No, I didn't mean it in a bad thing. What I was saying yeah. was you don't think you often tell me, Well, you just go on without me. You don't yeah. need me there. You don't need and I try and tell you, no, everybody likes you being on the show well, more than they like me being. It doesn't revolve around me. Well, so. it doesn't revolve around me. Well, sort of. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> It you, is. Anyway, you, you do a better job than I do. Well, I what think, I really wanted to say was how glad I was to have you on the show this week again because I've missed you. We'll say that next time. Okay. <laughs> All the other. Listen, okay, people, just, never mind. you just I need don't to know. This is, well this, like this. Is, this is our life. So people, now, this is our life when we're not on the podcast <laughs> right. because I can never say anything right. Oh, I don't mean that oh fully. Oh, my gosh. Gosh, I'm doing People it again. People in the podcast world. I can never communicate world. it correctly to convey what I'm in really trouble. thinking. I always just get You're myself in trouble. In trouble. I know. You just need to sign off now. Okay, yes, Sal. <laughs> Till next time, keep dreaming. How was that? That was great. Okay. Okay.